Hey guys, I thought I would do a second look for patch 5.1. It seems that I missed a couple of things, and uh, and then I said I would do a toll boss, which turns out to be super boring. So I'll do I'll show that later. Um, and then I heard that uh, kid kid damage in in world boss counts towards t t towards your total. Before it would just eat up damage against the world boss, but it wouldn't count towards your golden Daru income. So we'll see if that matters at all. I have my uh, Wind Ranger on. He has uh, Soul Hunter, not Soul Hunter. What is that? That's a Archer skill. Cursed Arrow, which adds damage, and uh, and and just one Delphic on. So I have Herc on. Just lead one of these guys. I don't know. Hide other objects doesn't really matter too much in the PVE stuff. So the first round, I don't have AFK mode going at the beginning. So actually my first round is usually my worst one for class mode. These go pretty fast or else usually I wouldn't even do this in, in real time or uh, full commentary. I have... Last night, I think I got four double hits in a row in, in mage modes, and I was really excited about that. I don't know if I can pull that off here. I can't do it in the first round. It needs to start out as AFK mode. Um, so we'll see if I can do it. In sylph mode, there's no way. Sylph mode, it's like you're lucky if you get like two or three double hits. Oh, so that's way higher. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Okay, so 4.7 million um, gold from uh, that that first round in in class mode. So we'll see how I do in in uh, in sylph mode. But yeah, that's a huge gain. All right, off I go. There's cursed arrow. Now his Delphic. His Delphic is not that impressive. It deals 300% damage. I think that's a little level 3 Del uh, Delphic. Changed up my rotation a little bit to accommodate Cursed Arrow. So now I do Flash Storm here. Brutality. Sometimes I can get this double hit from Jupiter's Wrath to the Delphic, but other times I just have to wait until the next round. And double hit from the Delphic to Short Circuit, and hit AFK mode. So now I'll start the next round in AFK mode. Ooh, 6.3 million. Alright, so this is pretty nice. Uh, getting getting the the Daru and the gold. This is definitely more than what I got before. I didn't even know if it would be that noticeable, but the kid definitely adds to the damage. So yeah, I was I was saying you know I did have hear a rumor that that the the gold income would be a lot better and free ones <laughs> agreeing. So yeah, other oh, evil arrows here too. So another big so big archers around. So that's not. Gonna make is gonna make sure this is very short. This is only my third round. Thunder off the bat. All right, so here, let's see how many double hits I can get. Double hit from thunder to lightning bolt. Another thunder. Another lightning bolt. Then I go from Lightning Bolt over to Ice Bolt. And sometimes I can get another Thunder and another Lightning Bolt. Nope, didn't get it that time. Probably should have just thrown a Chaos then. There, 4.7 million. 
let's see here. My first round was also around 4.7, so it really doesn't make a huge difference. <laughs> Maybe I crit less this time around, because sometimes before I was getting close to 4 million um, in my class round, so. Uh, maybe we can make some adjustments because I I only have cursed arrow on on my U demon. I don't know if if the bleed any of the bleed skills would help here in the PVE. But it's nice to get two cursed arrows in, and when I don't have any of the other skills on, I guarantee that I get two of them in. Uh oh, running out of time. So I think I'm going to Delphic now or next after this to this skill because I don't want to miss it. Yeah, so I got my Delphic in even though it didn't crit. Piece of crap. Alright, so don't even get in two full silk rounds. <laughs> this thing is dead. But that's a very nice addition. Um, so, you know, before the, the bosses were dying just as quickly and um, and, and they didn't count uh, the, the U-Demon damage. So no improvement to the HP, but that's okay. Um, so this is actually pretty so-so. This is the earlier world boss. If it's the later world boss, I can, even before, I could get over 20, like 23 million gold. Um, so, so this is uh, better than what I would get in the first world boss before. Before it would be like 13 million for first world boss, where, where more people show up. And then the later one, uh, there, there are less people. So we'll see, um, so that's a mild improvement, um, at least to the gold income. It still doesn't make up for not having a toll boss. Uh, so a toll boss is not coming up for a little bit. So I'll, I'll add that on to the, to the video later. One of the things that I missed was Sylph Expedition. Uh, so this has changed so you don't, you can't have a second set of kids. So I'm just setting up with, um, two water sylphs. I can change up their gear a little bit. Let me see here. Um, okay, this gear is not fantastic because I don't have any of my HP Divinity Souls in it, but um, just for the sake of actually trying for once. I can't remember the last time I actually tried to improve the number of levels I, I have in <laughs> in uh, in Sylph Expedition, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, put Poseidon. Helps to have two healing pets or things that can heal or you know I don't have a shield on on my Poseidon but that's not a huge deal I guess the obvious choice is evil arrows dark pet uh, yep okay so his dark pet is actually yeah a little bit higher BR than mine um, I mean, maybe he has the, the Sepulchrum full, where I haven't seen an advanced Sepulchrum event for, for Nutella yet. Um, so we can stick this up here. And, uh, oh, people actually do this, unlike myself, where I've, yeah, I don't do this at all. Um, so I won't bother with the skills or whatever, it's good enough. So get going. We set the formation and challenge and... Oh, you can blitz the full number of levels that you've beaten now. So before it would be like whatever level you beat and then minus 10 levels. I don't know if that's with this patch or if it's just been so long since I've done Sylph Expedition that I never noticed that before. Okay, and uh... Okay, so the rewards are a little bit different now. There's some Mahra in here. These guys, the elites, will give some sepulchrum and other stuff. I heard at, at level 50 plus you get advanced sepulchrum, so that should be more interesting. And these guys give some divinity souls, definitely want those. Um, okay, so we can go ahead and start this up. This is really like one of my least favorite things to do, so I'm probably going to just speed through it. Um, so let's see how much of other, this I remember how to do.
Alright, well, I just lost Evil Arrow's Dark Pit because I wasn't... Because I kind of underestimated things. I also heard some changes happen, so I wasn't sure if, if he was I was going to be able to use his self in the future or not. Um, and uh, I was kind of curious what would happen if, if it died. Uh, so no changes there. You just don't get a backup or whatever. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, I could do more, but I don't really feel like it. Uh, this is just not one of those things I'm that interested in. So, I mean, I could, even with these three, I could probably get some more levels if I really push it, but, um, I don't know. I don't really want to. So, anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so just no backup sylphs. And I think that's just, just to consolidate things. I mean, I don't think this is a huge deal. Um, you, you could have all the backup sylphs. I think that was more important when you, uh, couldn't, uh, blitz all of the lev levels, but now I think this is just just fine and uh, and so yeah so the rewards should get better as, as we go on but uh, I'm just gonna leave it alone for now um, yeah this is I mean I'm at 37 and so this should get me there may be somebody who's who's willing to do more I'm not totally sure but um, it's that's good enough for, for my server um, so maybe I should start blitzing this because divinity souls are <laughs> sort of important and speaking of divinity souls we now have dual ones, uh, so we can go to Sylph, and uh, let's see here. So we have some combined ones, uh, so they start at, so it looks like they start at level 10 through 12. So no lower level ones, so you can have lower level dual gems, but um, here they start at level 10, uh, level 10's cost one gem solvent to make. I'm sure that you can recycle them, but since these gem sol solvents cost quite a few ba balans, they cost I think 3,000 balans each, that um, that you're not going to want to make these until you have pretty high level divinity souls. So I mean this isn't super interesting to me yet. Um, I think it'll be more interesting if I have an Odin or, or one of the other merge sylphs because I, you know, they have both types of of attack, especially Odin. I think this is, would be the most important one um, is to have the physical and magical attack on on uh, on the Sylphs, as well as maybe a pure physical attack and pure magical attack. Um, so that's that's interesting. I mean, as far as survival goes, okay. So you can have physical attack. So you can have attack and HP. You're going to have attack and uh, defense, so I assume that works Yep, um, for all of them. And then you can have both defenses. Both defenses is probably the least useful here. I don't think that's good for anything except for things like Sylph Expedition and um, and Sylph Arena. Um, I think the the, the HP and the, the attack is, is more important for PvP. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, for Odin, this is the, this is the big one. I'm not sure. I don't think it's as important for Frigga or for for um, Tyr and Thor when that comes out. And then, so depending on, on what you want, you're gonna want a, a physical attack or a magical attack, and uh, and these HP ones. So instead of what I have now, which is um, let's see here. So for here, I just have physical attack and, and everything. And so probably what I'll do is I'll I'll take out the defense divinity souls once I have an extra set. Like right now I'm at my limit with with divinity souls. I mean just to have enough for my main set of gear plus um, an, another se set of gear for the sylph that I put on my U demon. I'm stretched pretty thin, so there's no way I can make these dual ones. But what I would probably do is uh, go for pure physical attack, pure HP, uh, physical attack and HP, and then. Uh, well, then maybe one of the defenses or split the defenses. I'm not totally sure, but at this point, there's I just don't have the divinity souls to do that. Um, so maybe if they start making the divinity soul events unlimited, which they haven't done, then uh, that that might be more doable. But at, at this point, I just don't have the divinity souls to do this, and um, I, I definitely have plenty of bound, bound balance that I can make a few of these once that comes out. But uh, you don't want to be making these over again so hey because because the gem solvents are quite expensive so i think i'll wait until i can get level 12 divinity souls and then start thinking about making duels 
um, just to, to save some balance and stuff. Alright, so we're in Silva Tollboss. Um, I actually did some of this earlier, um, but I'm helping Val and Shadow Fang get uh, one of the bosses. So you do need to clear a lot of these uh, in order to uh, fill up the points. And um, so you only get a limited number of attempts. So each time you kill one of these, you you use up one of your attempts. So it's sort of like wilds in that sense that each type of of mob and boss you can only do a certain number of times but I'm gonna go ahead I'm going after these sophisticated ones because they give more points and the more points that you get uh, the sooner you can spawn one of the bosses I was doing this earlier and I didn't realize that I had stripped my gear which was sort of funny but um, but yeah so you can just do this daily I mean for I highly recommend that you do it when when things are busy. Like right now, there aren't a lot of people because we're toward the the end of the end of the times. So, well, not end, but halfway through. So most people did this earlier on, and um, and so and so there aren't a lot of people around anymore. And I feel bad because Val couldn't get into the boss battle the the last time. So I'm just trying to help him clear a bunch of these uh, so that. That we can get another boss to spawn. People are very, very aggressive about getting those bosses, and I think some people don't really know that uh, <laughs> to to not go after the bosses um, more than once. Um, so there were a lot of teams in here, so everybody was going for the boss. So a, there are lots of people going for it, and it was hard to get one. Um, so I did get one, but um, Val wasn't there, and then we picked up somebody else, Shadow Fang, I guess. Um, we picked up from from world chat but if somebody's free and you know you have a team and it's it's empty and you're going after a boss you should just invite them because the bosses I mean take some work to get okay so we're at 100 out of 100 so pretty soon it's gonna say the boss um, spawned and I'm gonna go get it by the entrance Okay, so somebody went into the fight. So Shock, is that Shock that went into the fight? Go fight it. Um... Alright, did it pull me into the battle or not? No, this is a mob. Bow, hurry. I'm in a mob, but you get it up. Shock, keeping it busy. Oh, poke. <laughs> Val didn't get into the last one, and I just don't want him to get screwed this time around. So hopefully. Shadow also got in there. What is he doing? Alright, there he is. My god. Give me a heart attack, people. Alright. Everybody has a darn soul boss. I just can't get in there um, on time. Anyway, so that's about it. So now um, this thing is back to... It's a sort of like just down to zero points so people are going to have to kill more of these and um, and then they can get more of these bosses so <laughs> just uh, incredibly inefficient into <laughs> to getting that at all boss for future reference I'm gonna have to force myself to like bring healing skills or something so we can stall that um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here so I stop getting pulled into into these attempts. Alright, so last couple of clips I wanted to show were of... Um, one is uh, the first boss that I, I killed for, for Silvatol, and uh, that's the one that I do on attempt. Um, hoping that my voice holds out right now. Um, it sounds like I, I'm, I'm losing it, and uh, so I might have to take it easy in the rest of the, this weekend's videos. Um, 
but anyway, so we can see the rewards here. I have no gear on. You can see I have no uh, wings on at the moment. And uh, so that's actually why I'm able to stall as long as I did. Um, so I should definitely put some heals or something on so that we can all spread out and uh, try and get the boss without one of us killing it before the rest of the team can get in. There we are, and there's the rewards. 10 advanced sepulchrum, 10 sylph crystalloids, and 10 mystery runestones. So really just not a big deal. Um, I, I really think that the, the best thing here is if you need to enchant your sylph gear, then you can farm a lot of those materials. And also just showing the last level of TOK Nightmare. I mean, this was a cloudy mess, it was so laggy, and, and the U demons make things even more laggy in an event that was already pretty laggy. Uh, but, um, but I mean, I used to be able to solo TOK Nightmare, so I wasn't thinking that, oh, like the U demons are going to be such a huge addition that I'm not going to be able to beat TOK Nightmare. I probably need some support that'll make it easier, especially since, um, you need a lot of AOE power to take out the kids, um, but otherwise, I mean, this is the last level. Uh, I mean, maybe, you know, my perspective is a little skewed because um, I have Robin in the mix this time around and, she, of course, another high power player. And usually I, you know, don't have somebody as strong as Robin with me uh, for this. But, uh, but I, I really don't think it, w it was that bad for us. That said, a lot of people are finding it much, much more difficult. Have to, you know, do a... a a difficulty down from what they usually do so um, so that's a little bit unfortunate um, but we'll we'll see how things pan out um, I don't know if there's any work around to to, um, to to the top players kids and all that um, so opening up my chest it's the usual stuff for like insignia soul crystals rune stones chances at those the kid materials drastically reduced so definitely they're emphasizing doing U demon arena for those materials instead of tok and then each of them which is very nice have a chance at some mount whips uh, varying amounts of mount whips uh, so the numbers that i saw were 48 64 and 80 and so um just a, a chance at a certain number of whips so definitely for me i'm more interested in doing tok nightmare uh because um, I want lots of mount whips, and I'm sure that the rate for the, the mount whips is, is best in nightmare mode. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying some parts of the patch. I know some of it to me is a little just blah or whatever, not, not interesting. For sure I am enjoying the dimensions. I'm actually motivating myself to do those for once because they're very straightforward and um, much, much simpler to do. Um, so I'm happy about that. But otherwise, I think it's a little bit take it or leave it. So uh, let me get, know what you guys think. Um, I'll catch you later. Take care and have a very good day.